What is going on guys, Linus here, and welcome to Black Mesa Source. I just downloaded it, I was waiting for the countdown thing. When it was done, the site crashed, and there was no way to download the game. After that I found a link, which took pretty long to download, and I figured I would kill some time by watching Piranha 3DD without the actual 3D, it just a DVD version. It was terrible. It was the worst mistake I ever made. Either way, Black Mesa sets out. We're going to play it. I have no idea um, how this is going to go. I've never even completed Half-Life 1 or 2. I've played both of them. Mostly Half-Life 2. Um, and I have to give, give credit to uh, to Chris Christopher Odd. Because he uh, sort of introduced me to this. I knew there was a mod in making... Black Mesa, I knew it was in the making for several years, but he got me excited for it. My Let's Play is going to be terrible. If you want to see a good Let's Play of this game, go over to Christopher Odd's channel. Check it out. I will put a link in the description if I do not forget it. And if you want to watch it, you know, watch me play it, and that's fine too. So let's just start a new game. Black Mesa Inbound, bitch. Oh, yeah. So I've been excited for this for a while. I've watched trailers. It looks amazing. From what I know, it's a remake of Half-Life 1 in the Half-Life 2 engine called Black Mesa. I don't know why I'm chewing gum. That's a bad idea. Let me just get that out of there. Oh, here we go. Black Mesa inbound. So this is basically a remake, if I'm not mistaken, of the lift scene at the beginning of the first Half-Life. Black Mesa, New Mexico. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security I cannot read this. of the Black Mesa Research Facility. Personnel. So yeah. Ooh, hammers. The time is 8.47. I have to say, and it looks excellent. Frickin' excellent. I personally love Half-Life 2, and like I said, I have not played, fully played Half-Life 1. I've played for a little bit, then the aliens came, got scared, stopped playing. God knows why, because I've, I've been watching Christopher Odd's Let's Play of Half-Life 1, and it is great, both Let's Play and the game itself, so... I feel like kind of an idiot. Let me just turn up the mouse stuff. Uh, get, turn up the sensitivity. See if that's better. It's better. Yeah, it is. It was a bit low on the, lo on the low side for me. Oh, sweet. So they even implemented the loading screens from the first Half-Life, where it basically starts loading at super random intervals. So that's that's cool. I guess. Door release. Secure sector stations require external security authorization. In an emergency, use all windows as emergency exits. This train is Yay. So I remember in the first Half-Life, you actually cannot read any of the signs. Priority seat for people who are disabled, pregnant, or less able to stand. So I guess they've remade everything. Every little thing has been redone in the Half-Life 2 engine source. Whoa. I mean, just comparing this to the first Half-Life, my god. He put so much time and effort into this. This mod has been in the making for several years, and I am pretty sure my Let's Play will not really do justice. And I'm sorry for that. <coughs> Excuse me, but, um... I don't know, I just, I've been looking forward to this. I figured, you know what, I'm gonna start recording. Um, <coughs> at first I, I figured I'd just play it. Whoa, it looks really good. I figured I'd just, just play it, and then Christopher said, Are you gonna record it? And I was like, I don't actually know. He said you should. So I figured, why not? This looks ridiculously amazing compared to... I mean, I just keep comparing this to Half-Life 1, and I know it's not fair, but... All these rocks in the distance were just a texture in the first Half-Life, and now it is actually there. At least it looks like it. Ooh, birds. I'm gonna try and pay as much attention to detail as I can. Because from what I gather, there is a lot of detail in this game. 
and I mean a lot. And like I said just now, I will not do this game justice. Please, I know some people are gonna get mad, saying, Oh, you piece of shit, you never played the first Half-Life. You know, you never played the first one, why are you doing this? I hate you, I hate your family. You know, people that actually play Half-Life a lot, or that have, you know, completed both games several times, and episodes and everything, and I mean, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry that I'm doing this, but, uh... I just, I don't know, I just feel like, like doing it. So just, you know, shut up. From my memory, this is actually 100% just, you know, the same as the uh, original lift scene. I'm really impressed with this. What do I do? Oh, I don't do anything yet. Because I remember you arrive at a platform with like one guard and you go inside and there's so many scientists. You get your suits and everything. I mean, I have played the beginning several times. Um, it's just that somewhat later down the line, I'd never actually felt like playing it that much more. Only a few chapters. So hopefully with this Let's Play, I will finally complete the Half-Life 1 story and who knows, I might even do Half-Life 2 after this. I mean, I don't, I don't even know. We'll see. But, um... I didn't actually plan for this Let's Play. I just knew that this game was coming out today. I didn't have anything to do. I figured, you know what? I'm just gonna record it. We're gonna do a Let's Play of it. Gordon Freeman, male, age 27. Education, PhD, MIT, Theoretical Physics. Oh yeah, I don't even know what that means, but sure. Whoa. Position, Research Associate. Sounds like, to me, like that just means scientists. I mean scientists, but okay. Assignment, Anomalous Materials Laboratory. That sounds pretty badass. Clearance, level three. Administrative sponsor classified. So this is, looks like the beginning of a movie. And I think even the um, the lady that's talking right now is has been redone. I mean, I do remember. It sounds like she's saying the same stuff she said in the first part. But I think it's been redone. Like even the speech. Even the voices, not just graphics. They really just went all out with this mod, and it's free. That is amazing. Whoa. I mean, I just want to give credit to everyone that was involved in making this mod. You outdid yourself. Already, already. All I've seen is the lift scene. You are amazing going down, right? Or are we going through it? No, that wouldn't make sense. Yeah, there we go. I'm just listening to the voice right now. Oh, I remember this as well. All the robots walking around. Who's th that's a G-Man guy. What's up, bro? There's the green liquid. <laughs> it does not seem like a very safe work environment, but sure. He's just standing there, no protection, just a white lab coat. Ooh, what's that say? Something about... CCTV recording is in use on this train. Special thanks to Valve Software. We're here. Open the door. That's a security guard. That was in the, in the original. Oh, loading screen. Holy shit. I just want to see what the rest of the facility is like. I know they redid all NPCs. Morning, Mr. Freeman. What's up, bro? Looks like you're running late. Yeah, I'm sorry. 
You look really cool s compared to your original self. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Whoa, I can't read this. What's that say? Code accepted. Three codes, that's it. Or I mean, three digits. Thanks for opening it. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. Hey, don't. Don't push me. Fire extinguisher, keep upright, pull out pin, aim nozzle at fire base, squeeze lovers. Oh. Hey, man. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. <laughs> Sell out. That's not really nice to say. Oh, shit, what's gonna happen? Oh, the door's just gonna open. Whoa. Anomalous materials. Hey, Mr. Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Will do, buddy. Will do. So they redid this security desk. What is this? What is... I want to read the blue screen of death. <laughs> HL2.x. This application has stopped working. Responding. Just like Try real life. Control -Alt -Delete. Yes, because that no, solves no, 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 everything. Oh, man. No, they no. even use, like, Windows XP or... So oh, blue screen of death. <laughs> that sucks. So let's uh, go get our suit. Good hey, man. Morning, Dr. Freeman. That's a nice pencil behind your ear. The system seems to be online now. You all have the Those same ties. GPS reports have gotten and shirts. Worse. Hard to find and lab coats. These days. Yes, about that. Okay. We're going to need you to come so, oh, this looks different as well. That experiment is There's a woman in there now. Whoa. Oh, I can go in here. Push. Oh, I can access people's email. Can I send stuff? No. Funny emails. Periodic table of the elements. I have never been good at chemistry, so let's not look at that. What are you doing? What are you doing? Demon. It's cold in here. Well, it's not too cold. I'm okay. Oh, he's playing some Tetris. That's cool. That's cool. I respect. Oh, what is this? Look at that. So. Just the graphics are so good. Contact Dr. Freeman. I don't, does it say Freeman? I think it does. Or it says Dr. Foreman. I'm not really sure. About the phased octronic lenses, something like that. Ortronic? I don't know. A lot of math going on here. What is. Oh, whoa, look at that. That's a beautiful thing you got there. Oh, well, look, there's some more emails being sent. Send it. Send it right now. They use Firefox here? That's terrible. Google Chrome is way better. Some more things. December. Oh, it's like a chemistry table for nerds. And some dude sitting around. Just a minute, Gordon. Yeah, sure. I'll just send some emails. Oh, red. It's a blue screen. Not red screen, that would not make sense. You're watching him play Tetris now? You just have to wait until after the test. Okay, Jesus. I'll go. Don't have to get mad at me. No smoking. I won't. So this is the... Hey. Hello. Hi. I trust this morning find you well. Whoa. Got l some lunch going, some coffee. Why do you insist on picking over everything in my lab? Hey. I don't think Shut up. pacemaker can handle any more of this. Fuck you and your lunch. Wait till I'm off break. No, it cannot. Yeah, Bitch. Out, will ya? Oh, that looks like delicious soup. Come on. There you go. What the hell? <laughs> Enjoy your lunch, bitch. I'm gonna drink my soda. Think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? Hey, don't call me college boy. It's not my fault I have an education. Bitch. Get out of here. Oh, I want some ramblers. Oh, what? Feeling peckish. Enjoy one off our wide range. I don't feel like reading that. It's too slow. 
I'd make myself scarce if I were you. How dare you? Uh, don't worry, I'll come. Dare you? But I don't think he's gonna believe me. I'm leaving. Nobody treats me like that. No food or drink, that's Why cool. Do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties. Stop this madness at once, Gordon. Okay, gee, sorry. Stone, Yang, Montero, Tri Tripolt, Pelosky, Truman, Jaro, Chinner, Robertson, Cl Clayson, Bootsma. That's a Dutch name, what the fuck? Freeman, Wilson, Fleischstadt, Rose Gillen. Some nice names here. Oh, it's my baby. Gordon Freeman, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Here, you drop this box. Keep your busy little hands to yourself, Freeman. <laughs> I'm keeping my hands to myself. How dare you? You know what? You are getting the glass. The whatever Keep it is. Your busy little hands to yourself, Freeman. Shut up. Nobody cares about you. I'm bringing this with me. It's from a suit. <gasps> Look at even the suit has been redone. Look at that bad boy. That looks beautiful. I want to jump in it. Whoa! New health counters. What is that? What is this? Some energy for the suit. That's pretty dope. Whoa! Build it. Build in radio. What is that? What, the, what do I have? Oh, look! It's collar polish. God knows why I have it. You take it. I'm gonna try and steal some stuff here. I do not remember if you could actually open any of, you know, anyone else's lockers. Guess not. Whatever, I'll just go take a. Oh, are you taking a poopy? Hello. Hello. Somebody get me some toilet paper. I'll get you some toilet paper. There's some right here. Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, it's nice and hot on my face. Here, I have some more. Guess not. That's not really working. Ooh, this will work. <laughs> Enjoy your poop. Let's get out of here. We got things to do. Time, it was Shut up. Nobody cares. Eat that box. Are we supposed to go here now? Guess not. We are probably not allowed to go there. Oh, I can run now, too. I forgot all about that. Let's follow the blue line, see where that goes. Ooh, that's a nice bin. I have one of those at home. Who wants a bin? I think you want one. Go right on through, sir. Oh yeah, thanks. Much appreciate it. Maybe see you should you open it first. Just saying. Looks like Idiot. You have a barrel today. Oh no, I broke the door. Oh my god, I'm sorry. It's my first day and I already broke the door. I feel like a jerk. No, I don't. I don't really care. Gordon Freeman. Ooh, that's, that looks pretty cool. I can do this. Seems pretty creepy. I see you. Nope. Ooh, American. When it comes to protecting science, this guy's on, our, on your side. Security force. Protecting science. Okay. See if this keeps working. Shit. Put it down like that. Well, there's no door in there? That's dangerous. I mean, who knows what might happen? It might just fall out or something. Oh, they shortened the elevator ride. Or it was always short. I have no idea. I don't do not remember. It could be either way. Loading screens are still slightly annoying, but you know, it's Half-Life. We'll just push some random buttons. Line 1, line 2, alarm, silence. Hi. Ooh, toolbox. Oh, I can't pick it up. I was going to steal it. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance Ugh, Whatever, nerd. I have no idea what you were talking about. What's up, Doc? Is anyone else getting Bugs angry? Bunny? I don't. Hey, babe. Ah, Freeman. I don't think my pacemaker can handle any more of this. What is that thing you're wearing? It looks super weird. 
Anyway, here's your soda pop. If another instrument malfunctions today, I'm going to explode. You're going to explode. He will probably explode anyways, so whatever. Oh, book. I'll bring that to have some reading. Hey. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. <laughs> We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We boosted the anti-mass spectrometry to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Okay, right. Jesus. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. I'll just take your coffee, then, you little bitch. Ooh, what are you doing? You look important. Eli has been busy making the last minute oh. preparations for the... Taking a chair. Stand. Taking your chair. Because you don't deserve it. Greetings, Eli. <laughs> Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. Hey. I'm glad you're here. I remember you. These last minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh, it's about to go critical. Oh, shit. It actually breaks this time. It's not just a wall with one piece missing. What in the blaze I'll just get out of here. I don't care about this. It was never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a Don't tell me to run along. I'm not your son. There you go. No bins for me. Let's get out of this place. I want to get to the testing chamber so we can see some green laser beams. Oh, did I just throw this down? Holy shit. By Becquerel's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. What is what is this? Are you a woman? Also, hey, babe. I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, and I find myself doing work best suited. I know you want to look at me. You do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. And push this. Whatever. Stand and stare at the screen. Whatever. If you're not going to talk to me, then screw it. Hi. Hey. Ooh. Oh, there you are. Few yeah. chest tapes. Been Love those. Three, I mean, I'll take it. No computer for you, young man. Pay attention to your work. Shit, I can't bring it. That sucks. Come on. Time for cold feet, you. Step right up. How is it still working? Yeah, I'm happy to see you too. Oh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. No, no. As long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just... But Gordon doesn't need the hero. This. He's a highly trained professional. Yeah, I'm a highly trained bitch. That Obviously. Skrillex! Whoop, 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 whoop. So do I, no. Go ahead. gentlemen. Let's let him in now. Yeah, let me in. Ooh. Caution, explosive. Wait, what? To detonate explosive bull door release. Holy shit! That's dangerous. Ooh, look at the test chamber. It looks impressive. Much better than the last time. Oh, holy crap. Okay, so if my memory serves me right, I have to go up there. Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Sounds good, now, sounds good. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors... I already did. ...bring the anti-mass spectrometer... I'm gonna push the button. ...and hold the bear and the carrier... There we go. I did it. I did it, guys. Oh, it's spinning. It's spinning, guys. What do I do next? Now I have to go down there? We'll take it from here. Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. Weren't there subtitles last time I played? 
There should be field of view. Let's turn that up a little bit. And that can go to medium, because I don't care about that. Simple reflections. Um, let's see. Where would one find the captions? There you go. So at least I turned those on. A little bit too late. You know, just, it's too late. I know that. And it's going to break the game. Um, but besides that, you know, everything captions is nice. What the fuck? 